Hi, my name is Mia Erickson. I'm in grade 9 at Oak Bay High. Some things you might not know about me is that my favorite season was, is autumn, and I didn't love writing poems before I did this project, but I have a feeling I may reconsider my feelings for poetry. The first haiku I wrote is about wisdom. It illustrates the importance of learning important lessons and traditions from our elders. In this poem, I envision someone teaching a child how to make a drum, but you can interpret it as anything. My other haiku is about love. It talks about loving everyone and how we are sure to get love back if we do so. This is my free verse poem. In this poem, I speak a lot about residential schools and all the people that had to brave them. I use contrast of explaining, in explaining the perfectly the perfect feeling of being home with your loved ones, and then compare it to the harsh, cold perfection that is residential school. I use personification to picture the breeze tickling at someone's nose, and I give fire a brave personality to feel it safe, to make it feel safe and protected. This is my concrete poem. I like this poem because I use. This is my concrete poem. I like this poem because I used a lot of personification. For example, in the first bit of the poem, I say that my paddle sings a song. I find that when I go kayaking, I can relate to that. I like that when the paddle glides through the water, making a swoosh sound, and then gently clacks against the side of the boat. Another example of personification that I love is the line, August is laughing across the sky. It gives you a picture of a sky streaked with clouds on a warm summer day. I like. I also like the simile I put in the middle of the poem. The red light of evening falls like rain, which gives the poem a warm, glowy, sunset-like feeling. That combined with the picture of being on the ocean in a green canoe creates a lovely imagery. This is my lyric poem, and in this poem I am talking about something similar to my first haiku. I am talking about learning from our elders, but also loving the earth and using its resources sparingly so that we can continue using and living on the beautiful earth. In this symbol poem, I use this symbol, the drum. In this first line, I am sort of using personification to make the drum appear like a more human object, what with the line, beat the stories from your stretched, dyed skin. I used the imagery of a heartbeat in the line, I know I'm safe with you, to give the poem a warm feeling. I would like to thank Starla Anderson for giving us a workshop on poems, which really helped with the writing. Also, Alex Nelson for teaching us all about residential schools and some First Nations culture. And lastly, but definitely not least, my teacher, Miss Watson, who helped us learn all about the different types of poetry and terms. I'm not sure I would have been able to write these poems without all the resources provided by all these people. Thanks for listening.